Hi, I'm going to tell you how to solve 100 meter dash from Bergen Open. The problem in 100 meter dash is you're given a list of locations and corresponding timestamps, and we want to know what's the fastest 100 meter segment from this run. So let's say you were out on a run in a circle and you have some locations L0, L1, Lj minus one and L A L J sorry and let's also say L J plus one and of course many other positions. To solve this problem, uh, we need to realize that it would be tedious to check. Well, if we were to find one hundred meters from L zero, that would be checking everything up to a point, and then from L one you check a lot of the same points. So we use sliding window technique. Well, what does this do? Well, it's an aggregation technique to be able to find this summation quicker. So what we do is we have this D for total distance being the distance from start to zero, just be easy, D zero. And then this would be the distance from uh, L1 to L zero plus the previous one. And distance two is just distance from location L2 to L1 plus the total distance running so far and so on. Now, how can we use this to find a solution to our problem? So to find a solution, we start at L0 and we'll try to start at every location. But let's say we start at L0 and we go up and we say, well, when we come to LJ, it's the first location that's more than 100 meters away from L0. In this time, we'll then find the total time used up to Lj minus 1. This could be something like 90. And we don't want to run all of Lj for the segment Lj minus 1 and Lj. But this could be something like 20 meters, and we then run a total of 118 meters, and we don't want to do that. So we need to find how long we use for this final two meters. So we find average speed and multiply by distance and add this time on the time between these two locations, which is easy to find by the given time steps. So, um, yeah, and then moving on, we just, well, we check well L1. And it's important to note that we don't go well L2, 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 L2 and so on. We just move on from LJ to LJ plus 1, or we check LJ, is it 100 meter? It could be that we have moved a couple of meters, but not too much, from L0 to L1. But we start from LJ and we try to find the first instance of 100 meters from LI. Yeah, uh, and this should cover almost every possible 100 meter or optimal 100 meter segments. What we need to account for is what if you were to run something like this segment. And the way we do that is we, <coughs> we want to know we end at a location instead of starting one. We do that by reversing all this because it's the same thing, just the opposite way, opposite way around. So either re reverse your list or make your algorithm do this as it goes. So yeah, if we check 100 meters from a certain location and where it ends, and we do the opposite, you start in the location and we sort of check backwards. You do this, you sweep up, sweep down, sweep down, and you have this technique for finding distance, so you make it in constant time. The pointers will move n and n, so you are in linear time. And that's what we want for 100 meter, hur meter hurdles. That's how we solve this task. Thank you.